Aloha and welcome back. This is Natasha. So today I'm going to be doing a card using this uh, some Spellbinders dies that I got recently. So here I'm using this um, Roses and Thorns die set. And I just um, cut out all the pieces that came in the die set here. I'm just showing you all that comes in the die set. So there's some little roses with leaf petals, that little centerpiece with the rose on the top, and then this, it's like a frame, <clears throat> like a two-piece frame, and um, there's like embossing on it as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off with doing some ink blending. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to color these pieces. I did cut them out with some gray cardstock. So I decided to go with the Distress Oxides and a blending tool. And it's a little messy. Um, I am using just like the sides or the, you know of the blending tool to try to get the ink onto the die cut. But I, I really like the look of it. I think it came out good. Um, so here I use the Worn Lipstick Peeled Paint and that is Walnut Stain. And so for the Walnut Stain, I'm going to concentrate heavier ink at the top or in the corner there by the rose and then kind of blend it out um, towards the ends there. keeping the gray color showing just a little bit on the ends. Okay, so I did um, two of those so I could make a frame. And then I'm gonna take the little die cuts that came in the die set as well, the little roses and the leaf petals there. And I'm just gonna add some real quick ink to those as well. I'm gonna use the same ink colors as the other piece, the worn lipstick and the peeled paint. And here I just wanted to quickly show um, how I store like my wet, um, what do you call that, sham, my wet sham. So I use this chamois, it's like a car chamois, I just cut it into pieces, little squares, and that's what I use to wipe all of my stamps, my ink, everything. And it stays moist and I keep it in this little like plastic container it's like a toddler container you know where you put the snacks inside and then the toddler can put their hand in and pull out the snack to avoid messes but it holds that chamois really really well it stays pretty nice and moist and it doesn't get that really like nasty smell that other containers tend to have when you have a lid on it and then I, I had showed this on a previous video but I just wanted to show how I store my blending pads there. Okay so moving on I'm using the spill binders the frames and I'm gonna be using um, I don't really quite remember what size this was but I'm using the hugs die as well that hugs die came from my favorite things and using this piece of cardstock, it came in a paper pack with one of the Simon Says Stamp kits. So I cut out the pattern paper with the, the fancy frame die, and then I cut out all the hugs with black cardstock because I'm going to be layering them together. And then I cut one of them with this. It came from this pack right here from DCWV, the street lace. And I just used like the mirrored black cardstock. Okay, so I'm just stacking them here. I put all four pieces of the black cardstock and then layered the mirrored black cardstock on the top. And then I'm holding everything down with an acrylic block all the letters just to make sure that they stay put and that they dry just that way there so here i moved on i glued down the frame the pattern paper frame and then i am now gluing down with the matte multimedium the die cutouts of the rose and the thorn 
the thorn bush or sticks, I guess you could call it. <clears throat> so this is kind of where you want to be able to like, want to put some wet, like liquid adhesive because this part sometimes like I had to adjust it a bit. And if you put down a dry adhesive, you don't really have very much wiggle room there. And then here I'm just going to be taking the multi-medium again and I'm going to be attaching my hugs word die cut right in the center there. And then with that also I put an acrylic block just to hold it, make sure it doesn't move around while it's drying. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the S there. And I did spray some gold shimmer onto the flowers, the flower die cuts and the thorn and, and rose die cut, but you really doesn't catch really well on this video. Um, so there's a lot of shimmer on that. Anyway, so moving on, I'm applying some sequins to the top right. I thought it needed something because... It was so heavy on the right hand side, it needed something on the left. So just applying some of the um, sequence to the top left. And I also had put some liquid adhesive and glued down some of the roses and some of the leaf petals there. Okay, and that is the card for today. Here are some still shots of the card. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you to get crafty today. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Mahalo.